Well, already on MTTV, there's Mr. Shimon's uh, press conference he had here today about uh, Vision 2020, so worth having a look at because that's what you gave us, the media. That was a, a shortened version to what the MHK's got, and uh, this is embargo till five because you're doing it up on tonight to all the business community, but uh, it's going to be more, more, more information on that, yeah? We, we've got an audience in the museum at five o'clock on Monday which are going to listen to the same presentation as we gave to the members this lunchtime. It really is an ambitious way forward to say that the island has a successful future. We believe we've now got enough information from the business community working with them to come forward with this document and it shows us an ambition that we believe is totally achievable. Okay, well that's a very glossy brochure. Vision 2020, but we, we talked about this in the past. What's, what's new about, have you set a date now or something then? What's, what's made it uh, this today, the reason for doing this big press release? It's got to be some time, and we've spent nine months now working with the private sector. We can either let things happen or we can take control. The reality of this is we know that for a small jurisdiction, we have been very successful, but there's no uh, guarantees in life. So what we've decided is that we will talk to the business community, we will see where the changes are likely to happen to make our economy stronger or indeed weaker. We know that some areas will struggle and change as is inevitable, uh, and so we're not starting afresh, this is part of a journey, but we're focusing now on explaining to the business community and indeed the public that there will be changes ahead. We will have to skill our people up into those areas that are in growth. We need more skills in engineering and ICT. There are other areas we know will consolidate, particularly in the banking, and people have seen changes in the banking over a number of years now. So this just gives us a bit of control to say this is where we want to invest our time, resources, and work with business to develop. You put your time, or your department's put, I think eight months worth of research has gone on into this. Did it throw up anything particular that we didn't already know, that you're saying we need more technical jobs and that sort of thing, the banking's going to go? I mean, what was there any surprises? Not a lot of surprises, but I think the, the thing that people underestimate in the Isle of Man is just how close government is to the business community. And this was a real opportunity for the business community, who have a good level of trust for government, to explain to us what they thought was happening within their sectors. So we've really got a unique proposition on the Isle of Man, which is um, far better than our competitors, where business and government work together to achieve a common outlook. This is the sort of short-circuiting the system, getting straight to a minister is what I hear from many times from, from people who are impressed with the way they can come over here and talk to you and you can work out tax structures and buildings and what, exactly what's going to happen. But you've got some trouble ahead, haven't you? I mean, for instance, um, I'm just thinking like the price of electricity is obviously going to rocket again. There's, 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 there's hints like that sort of thing could really put the kibosh on so many things, can't it? But, but you're doing exactly what many people do, is you look in isolation at one particular part of a problem. Yeah. And what we've done in this is we've factored in all of those situations. We know where we're good, we know where there's difficulties and challenges, and nobody is trying to make it out that there is uh, easy times ahead. What we've actually got are difficult fiscal challenges with no pay rises, with people struggling seeing their inflation going up and the cost of living and disposable income going down. That's a real worry. I don't make light of that at all. What this is about is saying if we're successful in creating new jobs and opportunities and careers for people, that's for our own people and to bring people to the island, then what we have is a real opportunity of growing our economy. Okay. And the more we can grow the economy, then the fewer imposed charges there will be for the members of the public. So we are really looking at reducing the size and scale of government. To be successful, we need the private sector to step up, take over those jobs, create new jobs and opportunities. And we've been here in this very room talking about uh, what's going on at the nunnery, for instance. I mean, have you had any more developments on that side of things? Because you, you have highlighted that in your thing, that that's still a very important sector you want to see us in increasing I, in our presence. I and many other people will be devastated if that isn't successful. I think it's a really important plank for the economy of the island. And has it got anywhere, though? Yes, so very, really good progress. That's a matter for the charity to talk to yourselves about. But I had a meeting with them this morning, and it's all very optimistic. And there's many things to be optimistic about. We don't like doing that in the Isle of Man, but there's many things to be optimistic about. Doesn't mean it's easy, but with ambition, with confidence. And if people look at the economy in the UK, 2.4% prediction for this year, that's far better than they've done for five years. Mm -hmm. If the economy in the UK is stronger, that helps our economy. And therefore, all of this, I believe, is a fairly conservative estimate 
that our economy can grow 3 to 4% a year for the next six years, and I would hazard a guess that there's nobody else in my position around Western Europe who could turn around and give those figures. But you've still got this two-tier economy over here, so this increase isn't seen by everybody, is it? And, and nobody is saying that. No. And nobody is making light of the challenges and the difficulties. But in order to help the construction industry or the retail industry, what we need is to keep people in jobs, to grow the economy, to grow the confidence so that people will invest. That might be investment in extensions or in new properties, or indeed it might just be uh, in their ability to go down the shops and buy uh, new furniture or clothes. That's all based on the economy being successful. That's what we're saying we can be. You did a presentation to uh, Timor members. Um, did you manage to get them on side? You know, was there a big rally of, yes, we're following you, Mr. Shimon? I, I thought initially they were stony silent, and I thought I'd said something wrong, but actually they, they felt they had the information. I got the impression that they were supportive, that they were looking for this sort of ambition. And it isn't mine. I have a team of people who have been working with the private sector. So this isn't about me. It's, it's totally about the business community of the Isle of Man moving forward. And I thought that the level of support from Tinwald was reassuring. They understand the more we do in the economy, the fewer difficult decisions we have to make in government. Yeah, I mean, you have had great ideas over the years. I'm thinking the aircraft registry was a, a great coup. And then, of course, the competitors go and take your person and uh, they're in sort of discussions to set up their own down there. Do you, are you, you, because you, you've got to be careful what you can say, I suppose, at the moment, can't you, about no, commercial but, uh, no, sensitivities? But, uh, I mean, Again, that's the, the pub talk comment is makes it look as if that's a problem. Guernsey have established an aircraft registry. We are one of the best in the world. We are a world leader in this area. But they're looking to you to say, we want to be that action, surely, aren't we? But if you look at the growth in the aircraft registries around the world, there are more and more planes being developed all the time. This isn't as if they're going to poach business from us. Indeed, because of our situation with the VAT in the UK and Europe, actually what happens in Guernsey can be a benefit and opportunity to the Isle of Man. So people often on the Isle of Man look for something which seems to be negative, and imitation is one of the finest forms of praise. So the fact they're looking at how successful we've been, and shame on us if we allow them to even get close to our expertise. So I don't see that as a challenge. I see it as something where it can actually benefit us. Finally, with the reshuffle possibly coming up, are you going to be the man that's going to be delivering 2020? or? Do you believe or think or even want to be on the move or stay where you are? I would hope to be Minister of Economic Development for the next three years. However, it doesn't really matter. This is here for the Isle of Man and the department. The reality is that across Council of Ministers, we've got tasks to take these things forward. And so I think all departments are understanding their role in this. It's not just about one department. It's about government working close together. I would love to be the person who takes this through to the end. Um, however, that's outside my control. Thank you.